Seven years ago, I made the most important decision in my life. I grew up in a very strict household and as a kid, you are usually supposed to save your money for a driver's license here in Germany. It took me 10 years to save 1000 euro. I didn't got pocket money, so the money was from my birthdays, kept change when I was grocery shopping, or sometimes me and my brother sold some of our old toys on the flea market. Instead of fulfilling the wish of my parents and spending that money on a driver's license, I spent it on something special. Computer parts. I deeply knew that this computer would open up thousand doors. Thousand doors for an autodidact. Autodidacts are people who teach themselves by their own. They don't need formal training, they choose what and how they will learn. Basically, everybody can be an autodidact, a self-taught person. In this video, I will focus on two important key points for a self-taught person. Your belief system and learning system. I would like to begin with a scenario that was mentioned in Sophie's world. A father, a mother and a baby sit at the breakfast table. Suddenly, the father begins to levitate. We all can imagine the reaction of the mother. She is probably shocked, panics, screams something. But how does the baby react? It laughs and it claps its hands. We have two different reactions because these two individuals have two different belief systems. The mother is bound to a certain belief, in this case, gravity and humans can't fly. The baby doesn't know about this stuff yet, so it believes everything is possible. When we are young, we have no limits in our belief system. We are like the baby, but as we grow older, we get bounded to different belief systems. What if someone told you that you are able to access any skill and knowledge you want to? Would you believe that person? Would you believe that person as much as someone who told you that you can't do certain things? What would have happened if I allowed my parents to discourage me and to tell me, for example, I can't build my own computer? I know one thing for sure, I wouldn't be here. Allow yourself to become great. Why do you set yourself limits? There's nothing wrong or cringe about setting high goals. If you shoot for the moon, you will get to the clouds. If you shoot for the stars, you will get to the moon. In the beginning, I want you to squeeze your eyes when you look at the reference. That way you can separate the dark and the light values super easy from each other. And I also limit myself by just working with two values. And later on, I go deeper into the other values. But in the beginning, super easy, limit yourself to values enough. When I paint with gouache, I need some areas to stay clear from any color. I have to be way more careful than with oil, because I can't paint light over dark. So actually, painting with watercolor with gouache is a bit more difficult than painting with oil. When I tell myself, oh, I'm not that good with numbers, or I don't have any social skills, or worse, you believe in stereotypes and think, as an artist, I'm not that good at logical thinking or whatever, 
then this is your reality. But when you tell yourself, I can do this and that, then you give yourself the energy and permission to learn and to execute that stuff. For now, I'm going to focus on this area, because when you look at it, this is our focal point. This is where our attention is, so I want to focus on this area. And later on, I will widen my focus. I love taking my own references for my paintings, and I don't allow anyone to tell me what to paint. I think I already mentioned it before, but since I get a lot of questions about it, I was already a good painter before art school. I will talk about art schools another time. In my life, I have listened way more than I have spoken. Whenever I meet someone, I'm happy to learn something from them. I know people who are passionate for things that I would never be passionate about, but I respect and understand them. And isn't it beautiful how their eyes spark when they talk about the things they love? They feel alive and when they talk, they give an infectious energy to their surrounding without being drained by it. It feels like your passion is the source for life. So give attention to the things that spark something inside of you. Good morning. I have to be at the train station in 30 minutes. Let's see how the weather is today in Potsdam. It's basically the same because it's one hour away from Berlin. I don't know where I'm heading to. But I know I want to see that building over there. That one, just kidding. <laughs> that one. I think the museum is somewhere on the other side. So I saw an advertisement for an exhibition at the Barberini Museum in Potsdam about photography and impressionism. I booked a ticket for the exhibition, but also an extra ticket for an hour long talk. Lucky me, 50 minutes of a talk were super interesting. For example, she mentioned that the photographers also manipulated their work to achieve certain compositions by cutting the negatives and laying them on each other. Just the last 10 minutes turned boring because she talked about things I wasn't interested in. It reminded me of school. In your free time, you are free to choose what you want to learn. Save some money for your education and spend it on books, courses, seminars, places you want to see. I also tend to make something that may be seen a bit rude. When I go to a place and there are things that don't interest me, I leave. If there are paintings I don't like, I skip them. If a talk would have been boring in the first 10 minutes, I would have left immediately. And I already did that many times before. You gain more from clear decisions. Yes, I want to be here or no, I don't want to be here. The museum was okay. The only thing that I 100% know now is that the painters also painted from photographies. Did you know that? Before I go home, I want to show you this place. Look. And the other side. And where's the museum? That is the museum. Look at this beautiful color. And then I took the train back to Berlin. 
My next step is to make some areas even darker than they are now, like this one here. So the ground is shining more, and also the figure. I want to have this shape. Oh, even darker. Yeah. This is how you play with contrast. The boy and this tree branch have the same value. The boy should have the lightest value. You see that on here? You see how he is glowing? So, we do that by darkening this tree branch. You must go more into the background. When you look at it, at the first glance you have to understand, here's my focal point, look at this area. And you have to emphasize it with other shapes directing to this focal point. See that? This, this side here, that point and this point have the same value. That's a no-no. I will add a cold brown. A cold and greenish brown. And a bit of a gradient. And I will use cold because our shadow here is cold and I have to connect it somehow. Right now it's separated. You see, when you look from a bit more far away, how he's glowing now? Be clear with your decisions, yes or no. No maybes, never have maybes. Always be clear with your decisions. Editing these videos was such a struggle the last months since my computer crashed multiple times per day and out of nowhere I couldn't access some files anymore. Let's say it was not that great for my workflow. I finally could begin to order new computer parts. Dude, this is so heavy. <laughs> Why is it so heavy? It's so small and heavy. Wow. It took me over a month to read and watch reviews and some parts were a bit hard to get, which made the process of finding compatible parts that also look good together more difficult. Everybody thinks finding an RTX is hard until they start searching for DDR5. Do you see what I mean? It's so difficult to find the pieces. This was actually the last version of RAM left in Germany, but the shipping also took over three weeks. This is the graphics card, and I want to unpack it and lay everything down so you can see how aesthetic, how aesthetically pleasing I chose the parts. Whenever I closed my eyes for last month, all I could see were computer parts. Yo. Going through any self-taught process where you struggle a bit and then you find solutions this is something that gives you so much confidence and you believe even more in yourself. You're like, boah, I made this, now next thing that is even more difficult, come at me. <laughs> it feels great to hear that someone believes in you and pats on your shoulder, but that person is not always there for you. But you can always be there for yourself. I can't get this one out. I should stop trying and get a smaller one. You won't be able to get it out anymore if you try too much because this, this cross turns into a circle and then bye bye. <laughs> I'm back home. Let's test. Please, please, please. 
Ooh, yes. Look. At school, I also had some classmates who built their own PCs, and I can remember that all of us agreed that in the beginning it's really hard, but in the end, when you're finished, you think, hey, this was like building Lego. I want to build more PCs now. Then I thought the most difficult part begins connecting everything with each other, and I swear I feel like an older generation or I missed something out through the last years because there were so many new things I didn't know about. But there are a ton of tutorials and forums where people ask and discuss. You can find an answer for everything. It's 11 p.m. I'm missing a cable. Look at my desk. I have to wait till tomorrow. My beautiful room. Look at all those packages. See you tomorrow. Uh, do you see how tired I am? <laughs> what? I wasn't sure how much power I will need in the future since I will plug in a few more devices. But I really wanted to show you how it looks when it's turned on. Guys, look! Look! Wait. This is my old PC. Please ignore the trash. This is my old PC. I bought this seven years ago. <laughs> Do you see how it looks? It's so old. So the CPU was behind that one. This is the graphics card. And do you see how big the SSD is where you store your programs on and you have here your files on? Wow. And now, <laughs> um, this is ugly right now. The colors are ugly. I'm going to, you can configure the uh, colors. So I will spend the next days on setting everything up. I'm excited to edit the new videos for you on this computer and I hope you begin to believe in yourself more than ever because nobody pets better than you on your own shoulder.